Alright, hello angel babies. I'm not really sure what happened. I was recording and then all of a sudden the camera went off and I'm just like, I'm not going to use my tablet. I'm just going to use my phone because it's acting really fucking stupid. Okay. Um, I feel like maybe somebody didn't want to get a message out, but I'm just going to shuffle and continue what I was doing. You okay? Drink some water. My kids, man. Just sitting there hacking, not even trying to do anything to help himself. Like I always tell them, you gotta slow down when you eat, you know what I mean? Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Three of Wands, the Chariot in the Reverse, and the Seven of Swords, all right? So, there's somebody here, and we have the world at the bottom of the deck. So, there is definitely someone here that is trying to wait on someone or something. I feel like I feel like somebody's waiting to move forward, okay? Um waiting to move past, okay, the lies and the deception. Okay, that's going on here because the chariot in the reverse means that you're kind of like stuck. You've kind of um you've kind of gotten off your pathway. You've kind of taken take you taken an extra route that you weren't supposed to take, all right? And I feel like you're trying to get back on track, all right? You could be dealing with a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. I said Queen of Cups. So some of y'all are working really, really hard, saving your money, maybe you um I really just focused on business, focused on, you know, your coin, which ain't nothing wrong with that. Clarify this three of wands. I hate when cards fall on the floor. Yeah, we have judgment being called in this situation. So somebody had you in a situation where you are waiting, 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 waiting. Okay, because the three of wands is like a situation where, um, you know, it's like a man waiting for a cargo ship. So you're waiting for some type of prosperity to come and judgment has been called on that situation. Okay, you're waiting for something, um, something to happen. Okay, you're waiting for some type of sign or something of that sort to move forward. And we have the queen of swords here. So I feel like you have had to cut a situation off. Or you have had to cut a person off, okay? Yes, yeah, Spirit said that's the truth. You had to cut a person off because of some lies that they told, okay? Um, what lies did they tell? Clarify the chariot in the reverse and the queen of swords. What lies did this person tell? Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. Oh, we have temperance out here. So you have temperance and judgment. So spirit is coming in to like really clear some shit out, okay? Um, we have the six of swords in the reverse. So somebody not being able to move forward with you with some type of conversation about something. Um, somebody needs to tell you something. Somebody needs to offer you some type of, um, some type of truth. But instead, what they chose to do was be deceptive here with the Seven of Swords card, all right, with their words. They chose to be deceptive instead of offering you this truth. Because you see this sword here? It's like the same sword. This person is just holding on to this truth. So let's see. We have a Queen of Wands here. So even though you were in this situation of waiting, okay, I feel like... Um, You've kind of had a, a rebirth, okay, a resurrection moment of your self-confidence, your self-worth, your self-love in the situation of waiting, all right? It's taken you a while to get to your happiness, but the sun card in the reverse is still a happy card. It still means that happiness and success are things that are achievable, okay? So I feel like you not being able to move on from this situation isn't going to last very long, okay? Like I said, you just took 
an alternate route to get to where it is that you need it to be. We have the Hierophant here. You could definitely be dealing with the Taurus. But I feel like for some of you, um, you're going to find out about some type of lie that your significant other has told you, all right? Um, or the person that you're inquiring about has told to you that wasn't true, okay? Something about your beliefs, something that you no longer believe or you... Um, I'm really feeling like it's something you no longer believe to be true, okay? Something along those lines. And you're not willing to hold on to the situation anymore, all right? Um, you're wanting to let go of this um, working hard to get nowhere type of situation. You know, that's what I'm seeing. Like, you're working hard and not getting where it is that you need to be at, all right? So this person here, if this is a different person, this Queen of Wands, it could be dealing with a fire sign. This person is kind of waiting for something to be, like this person's waiting to be revived. This person's waiting for some type of, um, some type of rebirth, okay? They're hoping to come back into your atmosphere, back into your energy, okay? Because this, this, these are souls that are coming up out of the grave. So it's like somebody's waiting for you to resurrect a relationship with them or waiting for you to communicate with them. But with the three of wands here, it's like they're going to be waiting in vain, right? Because I feel like this person was blocking your happiness. So by blocking out this person, I feel like, you know... Um, that's probably why the divine is stepping in to be like, no, you need to come and balance the situation out. But we have the lovers here in the reverse. So like I said, this is a situation that you want to let go of. This isn't something that you want to hold on to. All right. And we have the um, eight of swords here. So this is something that you've possibly felt very tied up about, or you've been holding a lot of communication back from this person um, by remaining in your queen of swords energy okay and not moving forward with this person um you refuse to move forward with this person is what i'm seeing you want to just let go of the situation because this person in some kind of way has lied to you yes <laughs> i just randomly look at god will pay back his enemy psalms 94 the lord is a god who punishes okay god show your greatness and punish. So it's almost like this person is waiting for you. <laughs> it's like somebody is waiting for you to be punished for something. You know what I mean? And this is somebody in your community. So this could be like um, a parent. It could be a brother, sister, aunt, uncle, grandmother, somebody that you work with. But it's somebody within your community that is waiting for um, some type of communication from you. All right. Or this is somebody in your community that you're just not willing to work with anymore. You're not willing to build with them anymore, okay? And let's see what 12 means. I don't remember off the top of my head because I am not a robot. I feel like, oh, I don't know why I just did that. I feel like this person is almost like teasing you, all right, in a way. Like maybe not to your face. But maybe that's what the lies were about. Angel number 12 is a message from your angels to ensure that what you put out to the universe is of a positive nature. Yeah, literally, somebody didn't put something, somebody didn't do something with the kindness of their heart is what I'm getting. Somebody did something like brash. And I feel like they're waiting to be revived, like they're waiting for the situation. They're waiting for you to come up and clear the situation out. Um, possibly this person feels like you lied to them or something like that. I don't know. We'll dig right in. Does this person feel like you lied to them? Oh, I got two cards. Pathway and gift. So somebody feels like, ooh, pathway and gifts this is an eight you got two eights here so it's like somebody's waiting for some type of gift or some type of um clear message about you know like what you can offer them what the fuck a gift and pathway because i already said it was like somebody went on the wrong path somebody got on the wrong foot with you 
All right, that was the message that I had before the camera cut off is that somebody got on the wrong foot with you and tried to come back and apologize and you wasn't trying to hear that shit. So that's possibly why this person is, you know, like trying to revive the situation. So now I feel like they want to take a new path with you and try and give you some kind of gift. Okay, and we have two eights here. So I feel like this person is trying to escape karma. All right, it says the Lord is a God who punishes. God, show your greatness and punish, okay? Rise up, judge of the earth, and give the proud what they deserve. How long will the wicked be happy? How long, Lord? So I feel like this person did you wrong, and you're wondering, like, when is my, when, when are my blessings going to come in? Okay, you're like, when the fuck, like, when the fuck are my blessings going to come in? Because I could feel it, I could taste it, I could, I, I could, I could almost, t you know, touch it. I could almost see it. I could see it. You know what I mean? Um, so you're really hoping that by, like, isolating yourself that something's going to come in for you. All right? But somebody does want to, like, give you something. Yeah, they're facing judgment. Okay? This is a second judgment card. You got two judgment cards here. This person is facing judgment. Okay? Because you um, cut them off in that Queen of Swords energy. You're not moving forward with them. Okay? Um, yeah, courtship. Okay, you want to move on to other things. Okay, you're trying to build other things. Courtship and the Hierophant here. You may be married, all right? So this person, yeah, a main female. You may be married and this person is just kind of like on the sidelines waiting to kind of come in and give you something. Okay, waiting to try and, you know, revive something by, you know, giving you a gift and trying to start um, on a new path with you. Okay, um, I don't really know if you're going to be open to accepting this gift because what did, what did they lie about? Okay, because this is coming from a main female. Oh, somebody lied about being single, possibly. Okay, somebody lied about being single. We have the five of cups in the reverse. So this caused you some type of deep despair. Okay, you had to go out and start a new cycle. All right, somebody, oh yeah, somebody left you out in the cold. Somebody was very controlling, very um, possibly narcissistic or had narcissistic tendencies. They left you out in the cold. It had you in a very, very deep despair, okay? Somebody may have also just been looking at you for money, okay? Looking at you as like a paycheck, okay? Um, like there's not anything like super genuine about this situation or this person. So what is this person's karma is what I would like to know because I feel like that's why this came across. Bad health is this person's karma. So I feel like it is almost like you are waiting for this person's personality, okay, who they are on the inside to kind of manifest um, physically, okay, because this person caused you a lot of distress. So you're waiting for karma to come back around. So that's probably why you're like, God, why haven't you punished these people? You know what I mean? The most high, why haven't you taken these people and did what you were supposed to do? Um... But it's coming because bad health, I feel like, is almost like mental health. So maybe this person puts you in a state of having extremely terrible mental health. And you're wondering, like, when am I going to see some results, you know? Yeah, we have journey. So I feel like it's on their journey. It is to come, okay? It is to come. It's in the making. Yeah, expectation, okay? You're expecting to move forward. This person is expecting you to, you know, um, take the journey to come meet them because the three of wands is somebody that's waiting for their ships to come in. They're waiting for their cargo ships to come in. They're waiting for some type of prosperity to come in, okay? Um, and the only thing that they have received, okay, is distress. They've received anxiety. They've received sadness, okay? Yes. Okay, mommy's doing a video, okay? So just give me some time. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. But, um... Yeah, and these are two tens, so I feel like that's significant as well. Like, somebody... It's almost like somebody tried to block your blessing, okay? I'm not really sure why. But sometimes people are just, like, fucking evil like that, and they don't think that they're evil, but... That don't always be the truth. Things are strange, you know. I don't know. People are strange. 1010 10 indicates a time of personal development, spiritual awakening, and enlightenment. Like I said, okay, 
there's something that you see about this person that you didn't see before. And I feel like you're not accepting the bullshit. Okay, you're not willing to deal with um, somebody that's going to have you, you know, in despair in five of cups as energy, which is probably why you cut this person off to begin with. So what you're expecting, I feel like, is your freedom from this person. You're expecting them to be punished in some kind of way for putting you um, in that atmosphere of of lack basically yeah we also have gaslighting here okay with the seven of swords so i feel like this person took like any action you could have been dealing with an aries by the way um and a taurus aries or taurus but um yeah this person yeah this person had you emotional like emotionally in turmoil you've had to heal from a lot of actions that this person has taken against you um, so that's probably why you're not waiting to revive the situation. So this person is probably lurking around or trying to call you or text you or make sure, you know, um, when you go out places, if they see you to make sure, that, you know, you see them to try and get a conversation started with you. Like just a bugaboo, basically. All right. Somebody that knows that they did something wrong. Yeah. Okay. Somebody that knows that they put you in this energy. You could be a Taurus. Okay. Somebody knows that they put you in that type of energy. And now they're scrambling, trying to figure out what they should do and say to get rid of it. They will say the Lord is good. He is my rock and there is no wrong in him. I feel like this, <laughs> they will say that they are good, that, you know, they've been there. They've been strong. They'll say that, you know, they've done no wrong or whatever. So that's probably why you're hiding or not so much hiding, but you're not willing to revive this person because you already you expect the bullshit. You expect this person to take a long way, a long journey around what the fuck the truth is, all right? And you're just not willing to hear the bullshit. You're not willing to hear the bullshit. This could possibly be like you and a third party, okay? Like you, your, your significant other and another person causing you strife because we do have the court. We did get the courtship card. Do you see how disturbed they fucking look? Do you see how they're just like, I don't really give a fuck? about what you got going on because I already know you come to the situation with bullshit okay we're just at this point waiting for you to be judged okay it also could be that somebody in your community wants to take you to court okay they want to take you to court for some type of reason somebody is in bad health okay somebody's in bad health so let's see what we got here let's keep shuffling but I feel like this person is about to take it a long way around all right, they about to take a long way around, um, telling you like some bullshit. <laughs> Literally, okay. Somebody may be going, getting ready to go through a divorce, okay, and that's why they're in bad health. Um, they're getting ready to go to court, okay, to end a courtship. All right, and they're in bad health because of it. All right, they're in bad health. You know, the community's in bad health because of it, or a family's in bad health because of it. Um, yeah, you could be dealing with a Virgo. You don't have to be queen of wands in the reverse. So somebody has withdrawn. Like I said, you probably withdrawn from this person and it's making whoever this queen of wands is, this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy upset. But I mean, you already know, but good people will grow like palm trees. They will be tall like the cedars of Lebanon. All right. Like trees planted in the temple of the Lord. They will grow strong in the courtyards of our God. All right. So it's like, even it says when they are old, they will still produce fruit. They will be healthy and fresh. Ooh, is somebody pregnant? What the fuck? Is there like an old person pregnant? They will say the Lord is good. He is my rock and there is no wrong in him. I'm reading from Psalms 92. Stupid people don't know th these things, and fools don't understand. Wicked people grow like grass. Evil people seem to do well, but they will be destroyed forever. But Lord, you will be honored forever. So literally, I think that you have, yeah, this person left you out in the cold. It came out like this, all right? And it had you in deep despair. So this person is getting ready to reap a whole bunch of karma, okay? Um, and they don't even think that they've done anything wrong, which is the crazy part about it. But that's crazy people in general, all right? They don't want to accept their faults, but God sees everything. I feel like maybe this person has been very... Yeah, literally, they had you feeling hopeless. They had you feeling like, you know, this wasn't a situation 
um, that you were going to make it out of. So, you know, they really did have you in bad health. And I feel like this person, like, they want to come to you and offer you something. Crooked leaders cannot be your friends. They use the law to cause suffering. Literally. Literally. Okay. Queen of Swords. You have to cut this energy the fuck off. I'm getting big Aquarius energy here. The Aquarius is about, you know, um, I'm hearing doing things at your own risk, being a daredevil, taking your chances and cutting something off. Yeah, we have justice coming in. So <laughs> like I said, somebody's getting ready to reap some fucking karma. You have justice on your side, though, Angel Baby. You have temperance on your side and you had... Um, judgment on your side as well so even if this person did take you to court it's they're still going to end up dissatisfied they're still going to end up you know upset you're going to start seeing things because this was in the upright now it's in the reverse you see the bullshit like i said you're expecting you're expecting the fucking bullshit at this point okay from this person you're expecting it that's what this person is about they're a crooked person um they may still produce fruit but i mean yeah this person who will help me fight against the wicked who will stand with me against those who do evil so i feel like um judgment will again be fair and all who are honest will follow it so i feel like this person lied to you about something and you're getting ready to find out the truth about what it is that they lied about yeah they made it seem like you know they were emotionally fulfilled when they weren't they made it seem like, you know, you had a bunch of different options when you actually really didn't have a whole bunch of options um, in regards to this person. So let's say, you know, this person was talking about, you know, I'm hearing future faking. And that is something that a narcissist does do is they future fake. They act like they have big plans for the future. They're going to um, do this or do that. And in reality, you know, they really have nothing going on. So I feel like this person feels like um, you've lied to them in some type of way. I'm not really sure how, but they had, they placed unrealistic ass expectations on you. And because you didn't meet those expectations, yeah, now they're in a fucking tower moment. Like, what the fuck? I hate people sometimes. I really do. I, I don't understand people that show a lack of empathy for others. Because anybody that would have you in the five of fucking cups energy, making you feel depressed or possibly even suicidal. Because, I mean, you had the um, hermit in the reverse as well. Like, that's not a healthy energy for anybody to be around. You know what I mean? So, if you have taken cover and kind of just went in to go and heal yourself, I don't see anything wrong with that. But this person does. So we have strength in the reverse. Literally, you're causing this person to have a tower moment. They they feel hit in their pride. Okay, I feel like that's what you're not seeing. Their pride has been hit so fucking hard. Literally, they don't even have a sense of community anymore. So I feel like if this was somebody in your community and they made you feel like you didn't have a sense of community, that is now happening to them and they now feel hopeless and insecure. Yeah. Okay, they're desperately trying to hold on to this situation. Okay, holding on to emotions. Like I said, I feel like you were holding a lot back from this person because you already like you already expected the bullshit. So there was really no need to go in and talk about it or have a conversation or anything. You already knew this person. You were waiting on it. You were waiting on shit to explode in this person's face. You were waiting for it to explode in this person's face. What's going to happen? I don't want to switch to these cards, but I mean, since I feel led to do it, why not just get it over with? So what is going to happen to this person? What is going to happen to this person who's like not even feeling like they did anything wrong? That had unrealistic ass expectations and trying to place them on you, causing you to feel worry and despair and all this extra shit. Like, what is going to happen? Because I feel like that's why the spread pops up. It's because you're just kind of sick and tired of this person and these people doing shit and nothing's happening to them. It seems like you're the only one suffering. Yeah, justice again. I can't make this shit up. 
Justice again. Tell us how angels fail, reveals past, present, and future, and teaches liberal science. Justice is happening again. Spirit says they're stepping in. They're stepping in. And this is the occult deck. So not only do you have like um, heavenly angels, you got fallen angels surrounding this person. All right. Um, yeah, we have the lovers here. Oh, God. You could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Leo, a Aries. Yeah, we have the emperor here. Causes women to love men and brings them together in love. Can make women barren. Controls weather, rain, and lightning. Cures or causes pestilence. So like I said. Okay. This person is outside of the relationship that you are in. Okay. Trying to cause havoc. Okay. Trying to cause Havoc, okay? You could be already in union with your twin flame and you are up against a very strong karmic energy. Um, I feel like their soul contract is up, okay, in regards to you and your person. Um, and it is time for them to move on, but I feel like they haven't gotten the point yet, okay? So I feel like what spirit is doing, what are you planning on doing, spirit? I feel like they don't really want to reveal what it is. I don't know why. Yeah, we have the hanged man. Lights, corpse, lights, corpse, lights above graves and moves bodies so the souls may be stolen. Oh my God. So the souls may be stolen. And that's crazy because I did have a dream that like a transparent astral body was trying to like snatch my soul out of my body. That's insane. Okay. Um, Two of Pentacles reveals the past, present, and future and reconciles friends and enemies. So I feel like spirit wants you to reconcile with this person um, or this person has done a lot of manifesting, hoping that you're going to reconcile with them. Oh God, Two of Pentacles here. Somebody's seeing something in a different perspective. Yeah, we have Ace of Pentacles. Gives all worldly power and treasures. Makes one rich quickly. That's why this person wants to come in and reconcile. Because they see fucking dollar signs. Didn't I say that before? That this person just sees dollar signs. And that's why they want to come back. They need your money somehow. Temperance came up in the reverse. It's going to be an imbalanced situation though. Makes a great noise. Warms water. This person is money hungry. That's why they want to hold on. Okay, that's why they want to hold on to the situation because they're money hungry. They don't have any money right now. The moon. Yeah, it was the secret. It's no longer a secret now. Okay, makes manifest the apparitions of demons, sets demons upon men to destroy them with vices. So literally, this person was sending you shit possibly in the astral realm to like come fuck with you. All of this shit's getting ready to turn back on to them though. Because the reading that I did before this, I got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, which means that justice, luck, judgment, okay, all of that was not on their side. Seven of Swords returns items and punishes thieves, reveals hidden treasure. So punishment is on the way, okay? Your justice is on the way, all right? And it's going to end this. It's going to be at the very end of this situation, okay? We have King of Wands. Makes men fly into passionate rage and desire. Destroys the happiness of married couples. Wastes the beauty of virgins and reveals the future. So if this person in this third party energy was trying to destroy your marriage in some kind of way, um, if they were going out here just kind of sleeping with everybody or doing whatever the fuck it is that they wanted to do, not thinking, because we already said this person feels like they haven't done any wrong. Okay, I channeled that out of the Bible right now. This person legit feels like, okay, it says, you have poured fine oils on me. When I looked, I saw my enemies. I heard the cries of those who are against me. Okay, you're going to hear these people. They're going to reach out to you needing something, wanting something from you. Okay, in the very near future. And spirit is calling you to have strength. Okay, and you also have the nine of swords. So have strength. Don't have anxiety over this situation. Okay, it says builds towers or destroys stone walls, causes rough waters and finds witches. So it's like these people have gone like a taken a journey, gone on a wild goose chase on a fucking witch hunt. 
okay? Causes wounds to petrify, causes great battles and wars. This, these people have just caused nothing but fucking strife in your life, okay? Like, literally, I didn't, wasn't trying to sound like Dr. Seuss, but, like, these people haven't done, haven't meant you any well, haven't done you any good in any kind of way, all right? And they're getting ready to face judgment for that. And what's going to happen is if this person was married or if they're in a relationship and they try to, you know, destroy what you had or make things difficult for you, their relationship is going to be ruined and their finances are going to get hit, all right? But right now, they're only feeling it emotionally. They're only feeling it um, on, a, on a prideful kind of a level, all right? They're not able to feel good about the decisions that they've made towards you or the actions that they've taken against you in the past they no longer feel confident about that so it's slowly starting okay it's slowly starting yeah they're slowly starting to change okay they're starting to see the error of their ways and you look at that you have great fortune great fortune so i wouldn't worry about this situation at all so if you need me for a personal reading you can go ahead surely your enemies will be destroyed surely your enemies surely your enemies will be destroyed that's all I got to say, all right? So if you need me for a personal reading, go ahead and look in the description box. And until next time, I will see you later.